What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. In this video, I want to show you kind of step-by-step -step how I set up my uh, JVO PPA power heads. Now these are the power heads that are on the back wall, um, one on the left side and one on the right side of the overflow, kind of pushing flow uh, towards the front of the tank. Now I've had a lot of questions since the previous video on how to set up the JVO to Apex adapter. So I kind of want to clarify a few of those questions and uh, make it a little bit better to understand. So. Uh, first things first, once you plug in the adapter um, on your uh, into the varial speed port on your Apex, you're going to have to come up into here and pull down the varial speed port um, switches themselves. All right, so once you do that, which I already did, I brought it down over here. Okay, you see PP8 left and PP8 right. Uh, just go into here. You can rename it to whatever you want. Um, I just chose that to kind of help uh, make things a little bit easier. So um, I'm just going to show you briefly. We're going to look at the very top part of this programming real quick, and then I'll go in and show you the waves individually. All right, so um, my main wave I set is PP wave 1. If you guys saw the previous video, my WP40s are on wave 1. So I decided just to put, put the PP before it to kind of uh, distinguish the difference in wave. All right. Um, also, it's this wave is a lot less powerful than the uh, main wave. So... Um, that's why I made it a different and didn't just use wave one. All right. So this is the main wave. Now, um, in the morning when the blue lights come on from 10 AM to 11 AM, I use dusk dawn two. Again, this is a variation a ver or variation, I guess, of the original dusk dawn wave. Um, and we'll look at that here in a second. So the blue lights are on is dust on wave, which is kind of a wave that wakes up the coral, wakes the fish up, um, and isn't too strong. Um, 11 AM to, uh, 9 p.m. is the main, again, wave, PP wave one. All right, so then we move on to 2100 to uh, 10 p.m. So 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. we have the dust on two again, which is kind of calming the reef down, uh, getting ready for our 2200 to uh, 10 a.m. wave, which is our night wave. All right, so we're going to pass on these surge modes real quick. Uh, we'll come back to them here in a few minutes. Um, so that is the wave times and setup for um, profile names here in what I've chosen to use. So let's get over to the uh, original Apex uh, dashboard and I'll show you how I made these waves. So you're going to come in here, go to configuration and you're going to go down to profiles. And um, I have a lot of here, a lot of waves and profiles here that I'm using for lights and stuff like that. So ignore them. We're just going to go right into what we are currently using. So uh, Dust Dawn 2 is our first wave here, which is when the blue lights are on. Um, as you can see, the wave time, there is no initial time off. All right. So the, the time on for this wave is three seconds, three seconds off. The minimum intensity is zero and the maximum intensity is 30. Now, if um, this is so I have the pump turning on and off completely. Now, if you didn't want the wave to, to turn off or the pump to turn off completely, you could change this number from anything um, from zero, anything higher than zero, the wave, I mean, the pump won't turn off. I don't recommend you ever go below 30%. I know that it's a little hard on pumps to go below 30%. So um, if you're going to kind of have your pumps uh, kind of slow down and speed back up, uh, try to do the minimum intensity of 30% or just have it turn off altogether. So that's the, the wave that I use to wake the corals up and also kind of slow things down before the night. Let's move on to um, our main wave that we use, which is uh, PP wave one. Now this, um, I'm using this on both pumps. All right, so it's um, one second on, one second off. Uh, the pump's gonna completely turn off and then it's only gonna go to a maximum of 50% power. Um, I did have it at 100% at one point, but it's just too much for that tank at that direction. And it was kind of splashing water around too much. So I figure 50% is perfectly fine. It's more of, it's not really the main wave um, controller in the tank. It kind of just uh, helps with some cross flow. So I don't really need it to be that powerful. All right. So, uh, and then of course we did dust on two again at night or right before night. And then we're going to move into our night wave here. here. All right. So uh, this wave is pretty simple, but just to clarify a little bit, it's um, on for 10 seconds off for 10 seconds, minimum intensity of 30 and maximum intensity of 30. So essentially it has an on and off time, but since the minimum intensity and the maximum intensity are the same level, the pump is just going to run a constant 30% power. Uh, and I use that throughout the night. It's pretty good stuff. So I do that on all four pumps in the tank and um, it's definitely fine with that. All right. So now that that's cleared up here, I hope that makes sense a little bit when it comes to wave profiles and how to use them. So 
Um, if you have any questions on that, you can just ask me in the comment section below and I will guide you the best I can. And if there's any specific questions on how to make certain waves, um, I can uh, guide you in that direction as well. Just go ahead and ask. So let's move on to outlet timers and surge waves, okay? Now, um, I know it can be a little bit confusing how I have surge timer three, surge timer four, and then surge wave five and surge wave six. Let me explain this a little bit here. So um, there are uh, virtual outlets. So let me see if I can get to them here real quick. Um, you have to go into the main uh, dashboard to make these outlets, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, let me see if I can find them. And when you make, when you can choose how many outlets you wanna make. So let's go right in there real quick and I'll just show you. You're gonna to wanna to go out to down, down to um, modules here uh, to make these virtual outlets. Scroll down here and you can decide on how many outlets you wanna make. So you can make eight or four, whatever you choose to make. I only needed four, so I select four and then hit add module. Once you hit the add module, you're gonna come back into the apex and then it will, um, the main dashboard here, and it will have you bring, you know, um, bring those modules down and I will show you that here as well. So you bring the modules down. So one, two, three, and four. They're not named that currently. So you're gonna to have to go in and name them to whatever you want. You have to name them specifically so you can use them in your programming code. Now, when it comes to surge modes, these are basically, um, I make these timers, make these, uh, sorry, these outlets on a timer. So once they are activated, they will um, turn on, of course, and then activate a certain line of code which will allow that surge wave to work. So to kind of clarify this a little bit, um, for this one, I have it off for 120 minutes and then it will kick on for 10 minutes and then go off and then in another 120 minutes, it will kick back on, okay? Um, I've also set it so that 2200 to uh, 1130 a.m., it will not activate. So I don't have any surge waves in the middle of the night kind of jacking things up. And of course, if you have another surge timer, you can set it so it doesn't um, turn this one on if that one is already on. And you can do wave mo uh, feed modes as well. So to kind of better explain that, um, when that 120 minutes is up, the surge timer will kick on. Okay, uh, let me get into here so it makes sense. Uh, the surge timer will kick on. So if that surge timer three kicks on, then surge wave five. So what is surge wave five? Uh, let me get in here and I'll show you what surge wave five is. All right. So surge wave five. So when that outlet kicks on, it will activate surge wave five, which is uh, on for 30 seconds, off for 30 seconds, a zero intensity, minimal intensity, and a maximum of 80. So that kind of like blasts the tank at 80% power for 30 seconds, and then it'll be off for 30 seconds and keep going. All right. So that's that's kind of how that works out for the, the surge wave. So I hope that makes sense. Again, if you don't if you don't quite understand, just ask me and I will clarify it a little bit better. It is a little bit confusing, but uh, just think of it as the outlet turns on. Uh, every so often designated, you set that designated time, the outlet will turn on and which will in turn activate a surge wave that you have created in your profiles, okay? Now, um, I hope that makes some sense. Again, if it doesn't, just let me know. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, I have currently have the two uh, or WP40s working at different waves, um, kind of back and forth flow, and then I have the PP8s pointing forward um, at a much lower flow rate just to kind of mix up the tank. So um, that's it, guys. Um, I hope it made sense of everything. And uh, like I said, if it didn't, just ask me. I want you guys to get this stuff. All right. So until next time, I appreciate you watching. Go to like, uh, comment, and also subscribe. All right, guys. Later.